Hey guys, I'm Dustin Revere. Welcome back. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Grand. Um, it's a torch by Bethlehem Burners. And um, these are great burners and they're really good because they have a surface mix flame so they're really quiet. And these ones produce a lot of heat and a wide flame so you can do everything from like really detailed work to uh, larger pieces. Um, this is the Bethlehem Grand and it's their biggest one. I think it's their only triple stage one. The recommended PSI is uh, five on the fuel and 20 on the oxygen. So um, it's a great torch for starting out, especially um, if you want something available right now. I know that Mountain Glass always stocks these and um, if you're looking to start out and kind of deciding what what tools and stuff to buy. We recently just released um, my recommendations for a starter kit on Mountain Glass and you can check out the link, we'll link you to that and then it gives you like a few different choices uh, depending on the budget that you have uh, to get all your tools for starting out. Um, if you have any questions on the torch or any comments, you know, make sure to feel free to comment below and uh, we'll answer those. And uh, thanks again Mountain Glass Arts for letting us review all these torches and uh, thanks Bethlehem for making such a good torch. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate a clear spoon like I have on the other ones and it's just going to kind of give you an idea of the, the different uh, varieties of flame and kind of in their everyday uh, use. Um, these are clear and so obviously if we're using color slightly different flames we'd be using and it may melt a little slower or faster depending on the color but uh, clear is a pretty good neutral and uh, that way we can see this uh, through all the different torches. So this torch has uh, three stages and the knobs closest to you are for the smallest stage which is this one and that gives you pretty good detail. The next size up is going to be your uh, middle fire flame which is a really good kind of general working flame. And then the last one is your large flame and that gives you um, enough heat to melt a marble or a marini, or some cane, some of the bigger projects that you may want to do. One of the really nice things about this torch is that the flame is, is really soft. And I was talking to a friend of mine, telling him, like describing the different kinds of flames. And this one is like a nice warm hug. It just kind of soaks the glass and kind of evenly heats it. So it will definitely be really good and really versatile torch. So let's melt some glass, make a little spoon here. First thing I'm going to do is um, open this up. I'll use my reaming tool. And uh, I know that some of you guys have watched some of the other videos and there's a lot of different ways, you know, to skin a cat as they say. Um, so you can use jacks for this or, you know, a, f a flaring tool, really anything that you want that you feel comfortable with. So this is just some 25 millimeter tubing. We'll turn on the middle fire flame for this now. So I'm heating this up and different torches provide different amount of heat and um, you know, different kinds of uh, heat penetration. Um, this one's really good for um, kind of evenly soaking the glass. So it may take a little bit longer to heat it up than some torches, but it's gonna produce a really even heat a little easier than some torches that have a really high penetrating heat. So as this gets hot, I'm just gonna start to close it down. And then we're gonna make a round bottom, which is the basis of any glass pipe. So we heat that up, pull that, kind of round that off and then we'll be able to pop a hole in it. Just blow a little bit, get that nice and round. We'll go back to our um, smallest flame for this so we can just pull out a little piece. And that's going to thin the center part out, which will allow me to blow the hole.
get that open. You can even that hole out a little bit if you want with one of these tools. Now I'm gonna just increase the center fire for this seal, which is basically about the size of the hole that I'm, I've made. So you wanna get these both really nice and evenly hot. This one was a little bit wider than that, so I'm just leaving it in the flame for just a second longer than the other one. That's actually gonna naturally shrink that down. And then you connect those, push, and then pull, and that's gonna make a nice even seal for you. And once you have your seal made, we're gonna just take off the length that we need for the pipe. When I go in the, the flame, especially, I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's some condensation. I'm gonna go in and not turn and just heat up from one spot and let that get really hot. And then as it gets hot, I'm gonna slowly start to turn. That way I, I uh, risk less for cracking the tube because of the condensation. So I'm heating up, just turning nice and even. It'll create a nice point for me to separate the the blank from the tube. As you heat it up, you can see it starts to move, and the hotter it gets, the faster it moves. Now we're just gonna put this in the Infini V. This is a pretty cool tool. I think Mountain Glass started carrying these recently, and they are included in some of the higher level kits that I designed. Just squeeze that down and that'll prepare your next blank for your blow tube and separate it exactly where you want. So set that aside. Now we're gonna turn up the middle flame a little bit. And we're basically gonna make a round bottom on this side. So squeeze that together, pinch it together with some glass. Pull that out, melt that back, and then we'll have a, a nice round bottom. All right, and now we're gonna attach the punny. This is just gonna be a hot seal punny. We'll melt this off later. It was real hot. It doesn't have to be quite that hot. But once you get this on, I mean, we could probably do this next step with the side flame that I'm using right here, but um, just for the sake of, of showing the torch capabilities, I'm gonna turn on the big outer flame. So I'm gonna go at an angle, starting at the bottom, and then back towards the top. bottom and top, you know, holding it for about four or five seconds each direction, trying to get a really nice even heat. Um, the hottest point should be where the, where the base, where the mouthpiece of this piece is gonna be, and the, the a little bit colder of the gradient heat is gonna be where the bowl is. That way it's gonna pull in a slight taper. You can see the torch just really soaking it, giving it a nice even heat, putting a little bit more heat towards the bottom. We'll take that out. Let that set up just for a second or two. Cool. And you can see basically that's almost the shape of a spoon already. And once you have your basic body pulled out, you want to let that cool just for a sec. You get nice and hard. And then now we're going to turn off the outer two flames. Once you um, let it cool, you're gonna go in the back and create the Maria. So, heat this up, and as it gets hot, I'm just gonna push together a little bit. That's gonna create a little bit thicker and a little bit wider mouthpiece, which will be more comfortable for using. So you can see I just pushed it together a little bit. Now we're gonna remove the punny. And 
then turn the middle flame on. That'll give a nice sized flame for melting the, uh, the bowl piece. Just remove any excess glass that you have here. Heating this up and just letting that kind of condense back a little bit and give you some extra glass so that when you blow it out, as it expands, you keep the wall thickness the same as uh, the rest of the pipe. Because if you just blew it out now to the size that you wanted, it would get much thinner than the rest of your pipe. Heating it up. Just trying to get that nice even heat there. that all kind of condense a little bit, holding it back, letting gravity do its thing. So when the walls are a little bit thicker and the heat is really even, just blow out your pipe. And then usually I do this like one or two times, kind of condense it back a little bit and then blow it out and that'll even everything out. Blow that and then you get a nice even bubble. Let that cool. We're gonna turn off the middle flame and now turn down the smallest flame because we're just gonna pop a little hole in here. So I find where I want it and then I pull just a little bit out and that'll thin out where I'm gonna put the hole and also create a marker for me. You can adjust the size of the hole by going around and if it's too big you just kind of heat around the hole and if it's too small you just blow out a little bit. That way you can kind of adjust what size the hole will be. Just try to heat really evenly around the hole. When you have that all nice and even you want to take your bowl push push down, turn a little bit, make sure that's facing, that hole is facing away from you. Heat it up to get any marks out. Now I'll put the carb in. Let's put the carb on the left on this one. And then we're gonna flatten the bottom. It's good to hold your piece like this when you're flattening the bottom so you can get it right below that hole make sure that it's nice and even. Put it on your marver, push down, so you got your flat bottom. Push a little bit more if you want. Now we're gonna take it off. We're gonna heat up the end here, and at this point, if I was doing like an inside out or a colored pipe, uh, I would put it in the kiln before this step. Um, just to make sure that it was hot enough because this was um, heated a little while ago and heating it back up uh, would sometimes shock the glass, but not so much with clear. So once it gets a little bit hot, you grab your diamond shears or any tool that you want to take them off. Pop that off. Then you grab this and you can use your reamer tool just to make that an even hole and you can paddle it in make it nice and flat and there you go and that's uh, Bethlehem Grand and a clear spoon um, that spoon is for one of you guys um, it's for the person who buys this torch from Mountain Glass uh, this torch is signed uh, right above the serial number by me, um, letting you guys know that I use this for this demonstration. 
and it's available in mountain glass and it'll even come with this spoon. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to write something in the comments or call Mountain Glass and ask about the torch or the kits. Uh, if you liked the video, got something out of it, please give us a thumbs up and uh, click more for uh, click subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.